Happy birthday. Good luck in your exams. Congrats on your wedding. In China, over the past few years, it's become a thing to send personalized greeting videos via social media and messaging apps. Videos featuring Africans, including children, have become especially popular. These videos sell for up to 70 US dollars each. The content can be innocent enough. But some of them are controversial. And in early 2020, one video shared on Chinese social media was particularly shocking. The word the children are using is heigui, which could be translated as black monster or black devil. But really, it's the Chinese equivalent of the N-word. The video sparked a worldwide debate about anti-black racism in China. And today, what I found on the internet was so disgusting. But no one was held accountable. With Africa Eye, I set out to find out where it was filmed and who made it. My colleagues and I examined hundreds of videos, cross-referencing them against satellite imagery from Google Earth. Eventually, we managed to pinpoint the exact location where many of them were filmed, a village in Malawi. I teamed up with Henry Mahango, an investigative reporter there, and he managed to find some children who recognized themselves in the low IQ video. I know you. That's you. We met their families and told them how much money people had made from filming their children. The children and several other people we spoke to all mentioned one filmmaker called Susu, which sounds like the Chinese word for uncle. We found out his real name, Lu Ke. And after gathering more evidence, we sent an undercover journalist to meet him. He showed him the low IQ video. He said, this was mine. He said, this was mine. Hold on, hold on. He says, um, and then he says, oh, no, 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 no. It's, this is not me. It was my friend. It looks as though he'd let a secret slip. He says it so excitedly, and then suddenly he reverses and he says, oh, oh no, 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 this was a friend who took it. It was time to speak to Luca ourselves. I asked him in Chinese why he had made the video. I pushed him further, saying this was exploitation. And he denies everything that we have seen in video. He also denies making the video that we believe he made, uh, so it just feels like this isn't productive anymore. Our investigation found this isn't just one video. It's part of a massive industry, and there are many other children across the continent being exploited for the profit and entertainment of people far, far away.